Welcome back, everybody. Travis had requested that I shoot these gel blocks with some 22 long rifles and see what they do. So, here we go. So today, the ammunition that I'm going to be using is some SK Standard Plus. This stuff is just round nose 40 grainers doing about 1,040 feet per second through my gun. Then we're going to move over to the CCI Mini Mag Target, just round nose 40 grainers. Uh, these here have only got four of them left. They are mini mag hollow points. They do about, oh, the same velocity as the other target stuff. So we'll try those out. And then we've got the Federal small game hollow point. Doing about 1,200 feet per second. So. so I'm set up here at about 20 yards on the range. I figure that's like average, you know, engagement range for shooting some type of, you know, raccoon rabbit something like that so ought to be a realistic distance for using a 22 long rifle so first up i'm going to do the sk standard plus just plain jane round 40 grain all right here goes the sk standard plus i hear that hit Go down and take a look. Well, you can definitely see the entrance right there. Turn around, look at the side. Definitely twisted its way through there. Ended up backwards in it. Didn't deform it at all, but the bullet tumbled. And that's how it got that wider wound channel. Look at it from the top down here. It just spiraled around through there. There it is. You can definitely tell no hydrogen peroxide and hydrogen peroxide. That's why we put that stuff in the mix. Next up is the CCI 40 grain round nose mini mag. Definitely hit with a little more smack. Run down, take a look. our entrance right next to the other one. Oh boy. Look at how much wider that mini mag is. Fortunately, came out the top right there. That wound cavity is definitely wider though when that bullet tumbled. That's what that speed did for you in there. Too bad we couldn't catch that bullet. Maybe we ought to shoot that with another one. It's a little bit lower here. Okay, let's put one more of these mini mags in there. 40 green round nose. I'm going to put this one a little bit lower. Hopefully it won't veer out the top. There we go. That suppressor on there, you sure can hear that thump better. Go down and check that one out. Alright. Got that one a little lower down there. Yeah, look at that wound channel just like the other one. That one actually didn't make it as far as the SK, surprisingly. Must have dumped its energy a little bit faster going through there sideways, but definitely tell the smaller SK then the larger mini mags. Pretty cool. All 
All right, on to the next. All right, let's put the CCI Mini Mag hollow point through there. Down and take a look. All right, a little bit lower right there. You can definitely see that lower one. That definitely fragged out a little bit more. That bullet mushroomed out and opened up right there. All right, a little bit different effect on that one. Let's look at it here from the side. You get a wound channel a little bit quicker out of that hollow point, which on a small animal, that's what you need. You need it to open up right away and then get in there. Last but not least, the Federal Small Game Hollow Point. Now check that out. All right, shot it right next to that CCI. This is the Federal and that's the CCI. You can tell both of them. Opened up nice and wide in there. That BB is really rusted pretty quickly in there. Both of them bullet tracked. CCI made it just a little bit further. Mushroomed out real nice. We probably made it about an inch further. That's the close wound channel there. Again, opening up real fast. Doing damage quick. That's what you want it to do. So, looking at these depth wise I would say that the uh, well I mean your shallowest one right there probably 12 and a half 12 and 5 8 that was that CCI hollow point then you got the federal hollow point and in there oh a little over 16 inches that's where the mini mag is and then clear back there, oh, 19 and a half almost, and 19 and a half, 19 and three quarters, somewhere in there. That's the uh, SK Standard Plus. Now when it comes to width of wound track, that CCI right there, that mini mag, is about an inch and a quarter. That's probably the widest, and I assume that's because the bullet tumbled. The SK Standard Plus might be 5 eighths of an inch or so. Um, when you get down into those hollow points, they're probably, depending on where you're looking at it there, oh, an inch maybe. Back here in the gun room, got the gel blocks on the table here. And here maybe we can see it a little bit better, not there in the daylight, but you can see here's our hollow points on those two here's the standard round nose on there how fast that round nose mini mag opens up turns through there just splits that out i mean that's way wider than my finger standard sk plus and when we get over here to these two the hollow points 
you see these opened up almost immediately started flaring out down there way faster than the round nose when they opened up i mean you can see that one there just starburst right away pretty neat but let's uh put you up here and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna cut these bullets out of here that one it might be easier if we go from the sides for that one as you can see on that one pretty much just got your rifling on it no didn't deform at all no nothing that was a cci this one here might be closer to do it from this side There's the SK Standard Plus. Again, you can just see them rifling grooves in there. No deformation on that one. Let's go uh, go from this side here. Look at that one. Perfect mushroomed out top on that one. Nice. That's the CCI small game. There we go. Pull the mini mag hollow point out of here. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> that one. That one really mushroomed out. Check that out. Folded completely over the back side of that. No wonder it uh no wonder it stopped shorter. That one really mushroomed out. That speed just really crushed that one. Let's grab the caliper here. Get a rough estimation on width. Oh yeah. 0.3 almost 50 351 somewhere in there sure yeah that's probably about the widest point of it yeah all right now let's measure up the mushroom on the cci here where'd that one get to uh yeah, about 0.33, or, yeah, 0.336, change that out, yeah, a little bit wider, I mean, very uniform, it's definitely going to kill some stuff, either one of them, very interesting. Measuring depth at where maximum permanent cavitation stops on these. I'm going to say that CCI probably stopped in there. Oh, or got its best expansion right in there at about five and a half inches. That stuff, and that, that wound channel there is wide it's over it's over an inch wide you can't see it real well through there but that's its maximum compared to the federal and that where maximum wound channel is in there probably about two inches compared to yeah that side shot shows it right down there So a few notes 
on the expansion of these or lack of expansion on these bullets. These gel blocks don't simulate any type of bone matter. If these were to hit bone on these round nose bullets, I mean, they might deform a little bit, open up a little bit better. I mean, maybe not quite like that CCI did. I mean, that thing really folded back. But, I mean, it'd be more like putting a gut shot on an animal. Uh, I mean, you don't want to do that, but that's what type of penetration you would get um, just on soft tissue. If that thing hit bone, I would guarantee all four of those would open up a little bit better than what they did. But if you got any comments, any questions, anything like that, leave it down in the comment section. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you on the next one.